here back again. I'm just going to give you an update of where I am. I, I've been gone a few months now. I uh, was experiencing some issues, which I'll talk about in a minute. But um, I'm back now properly and I'm going to try and get regular videos out. You see, I, I, I got an intro for my, for my channel. I'm going to try to take this a bit more seriously now again. The reason for the delay was I was having some issues with my my discus where one of them caught himself really bad, cut himself really badly off one piece of wood I had in the tank. As you can see now, you probably noticed then, then bits of wood are gone. There was something here around the middle of the tank, and they're gone, but like got very very deep cut and it got infected, and it was an awful mess. It was the red guy here that got cut. So. As you can see he's still here anyway, which is a good thing. But at the time when when it happened, I didn't realise it was a cut, I actually thought it was ick initially, so I started panicking. And I ended up treating the tank for ick. The whole tank. But then on closer inspection I realised that it was actually an infected hole in the fish as opposed to a parasite attached to the fish. It's just hard to get a good look at them as he was kind of hiding away, or she, should I say, she was hiding away the whole time. So it was only when, at one point when she got close to the spot that it, it actually was a cut and it was, it was quite a deep one, like the old scales were, were coming out quite a lot. So anyway, when I treated the tank, it went into a bit of a meltdown, to be honest. Um, I think I might have had a mini cycle. All the fish weren't too happy about it really. and. That's why I've been doing videos because I was kind of rushing to try to get the tank back in order. And luckily, none, none of my discus died. I did lose one quarry cat, unfortunately. So that was the only casualty throughout the whole process. So, so I wasn't happy to lose the quarry, but again, I was, I was still happy to be able to save the discus, especially one that had the infection because it was pretty looking pretty bad there at one point. She's only really started eating about two, three weeks ago. She, she, I, she, I think she didn't eat for almost a month, like, that's her there swimming up again. And she's back to her usual aggressive self anyway, so it's looking good. And all the, all the other discus are, are happy now again as well. You can see they're over wanting me to feed them as usual. I like only fed them about an hour ago and they're back over again, which is always a good sign of discus. So that's the update with the discus tank. All is good now, so back in the game. And I'm going to start a series on keeping discus, a seven part series. I'm just going to break down the seven videos so there's not one or too many long videos because there's a good bit to cover. So I'm going to start working on that probably next weekend. And, and I'm going to be using my own experience on it, like this, as you know yourselves. Um, do a lot of research online. If, you're, if you take this hobby seriously anyway, you do a lot of research online and although I do a lot of reading, I do a lot of my research through YouTube videos and it's not always um, correct information or, or, or it might not always apply to your particular tank. So I'm going to just do a series of my experiences only. I'm not going to be trying to throw any of these facts unless I'm certain they're true and hopefully I'll be to help some other discus keepers. Um, so that's an update as far as my, my discus tank goes because I'll be covering even the outbreak I had, or not even the outbreak, the, the injury I had, fish and everything throughout that series. But I have set up a marine tank so I'm going to go and show you. Um, so this is the marine that. tank. It's a, it was the old green tank if you, if you remember that. Um, so far, I put live rock in it, and it's been cycling now. It's been cycling. Like, well, it's, I mean, it's cycled. It's been going a couple of months now, and I've just put in a clean up crew in there. We've done a good job on, on cleaning cleaning the the dirt that was on the live rock. You know, I've got my cleaner shrimp here, and um, so I have to feed the tank. I like to feed him primarily, and then I've got ten hermit crabs. Some I think they're called Nazareth snails. Um, an emerald crab and a turbo snail and that's the cleanup crew I have in there. As regards I've got a few hitchhikers on the on the uh, 
rock I got. Like I have some sponges, you probably can't see them now. I got a couple of sponges. This kind of green algae that seems to be popping up. If anybody knows what that is, by the way, let me know. Um, I got a few corals which look like some anthids um, that seem to be starting to spread across the rock. The rock itself came with a uh, mantis shrimp as well. Um, but he died, which was which after research turns out to be a good thing, apparently. Um, I threw in some shells then just so the, the hermits don't, don't start killing each other, for the time being anyway. And this cleaner shrimp has pulled out two dead bodies of other cleaner shrimp that obviously tried to hitchhike as well. Um, and there was various other kind of sea critters that were dead, so... Early, in the early stages they don't, they went quite well in, in um, cycling the tank so like my nitrates and everything up to the roof so when all that came back down I knew I was it was done and, it, and we were at quite a good level with, with the beneficial bacteria so I was happy with that so in terms of setup I have obviously the live rock it's got coralline algae on already and it seems to be starting to take over a bit it's kind of died off a bit when I first got it but the coralline algae seems to be coming back in now and I've got a, uh, a external filter on it, which I'm using just for for mechanical filtration. I'm hoping that the rock is going to be sufficient chemical filtration, but I'm going to stay test and, and see if that comes through, especially when I put in fish. With an awful top off as well, set up. I have the RODI unit, so so I'm using only RO water. I'm using the Red Sea Pro Salt for the for the salt. I know that's kind of an expensive one, but I'm hoping. That, that will put the car that will have the right elements for the cars I'm hoping to have, which would be a lot of the kind of easier ones anyway, starting off particularly. Um uh, so just have a pump there. It's actually that's actually for a way bigger tank. I think it's overkill when I put in a fish on I'll know for sure and I might have to change that one out. And finally I've got lighting, which is a Chinese LED. Uh, so I'll just I'll just pop over and show you that now. So what I've done is I cut the top plank of wood because the hanging kit I wasn't going to hang it, didn't want to hang it from the ceiling. So I cut the wood to size and sat it on top. And I'm kind of monitoring the heat of the unit, and it seems to be keeping pretty cool. So it doesn't seem to be a problem. If it does become a problem, I'll uh, I'll have to think about putting it up on top of something that doesn't conduct the heat. But so far the unit stays cool. I don't have the lights on that long. I think I only have. Then the whites on for six hours a day on a timer and I got some more timers so I'm going to use the blue lights because the whites are on a timer so put that back onto the timer and that's the blue lights but I haven't got the blues on a timer yet so I don't know what time period to put it on and if anyone could recommend um, a good timing period because the way I'm going to have to do it is I'm going to have timed blue and then timed white red and whatever I don't know another light in there but I'm gonna need a um, help on that if, if anyone could help maybe Patrick if you're watching you could you could give me your advice because I know you're you're running a pretty similar LED and you've got cars and so on so if you figured out a good lighting scheme and you could let me know that'd be brilliant because I, I could go out and start off with that anyway and see how it goes but anyway that's that's the update for me guys and Hope you enjoyed it and I'll be hopefully doing weekly videos now going forward. And let me know if what you think of my, my logo and my intro and all that. And um, thanks guys, take it easy.